nothing beats a taste of perfectly ripe fruit. But figuring out when your favorite fruits are at their peak can sometimes be tricky. Here's a guide to help you know when popular fruits like bananas, avocados, apples, and more are ready to eat. But before we jump into it, if you would like to see more videos like this one, hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date. First up, let's take a look at bananas. The signs of ripeness for a banana are firstly the color. Bananas are ripe when they have a vibrant yellow color with a few brown specks. Completely green bananas are underripe, while bananas that are mostly brown are overripe. A ripe banana should feel firm, but yield slightly to gentle pressure. And the aroma. A ripe banana will have a sweet, fruity smell. For baking, slightly overripe bananas with more brown spots are ideal. And if your bananas are still green, place them in a paper bag with an apple to speed up the ripening process. Most fruits emit a ripening gas called ethylene, which will quicken the ripening process of your banana. Next up are avocados. Some signs of ripeness for avocados are the color. Depending on the variety, ripe avocados can range from dark green to nearly black. A ripe avocado will yield to gentle pressure without feeling mushy. Flick the small stem at the top. If it comes off easily and reveals green underneath, the avocado is ripe. If it's brown, the avocado is overripe. To slow down the ripening process, store avocados in the refrigerator. And to speed up ripening, place avocados in a paper bag with an apple or a banana. Same process as the banana. Speaking of apples, get a load of these apples. To know if your apple is ripe, look for bright, vibrant colors. The base color should be consistent without too much green or yellow. A ripe apple will feel firm and not yield to pressure. Ripe apples have a sweet, fragrant smell. Different apple varieties have different ripening cues, so be familiar with the specific type you are buying and make sure to store apples in a cool place or a refrigerator to keep them fresh for longer. Strawberries. Ripe strawberries are uniformly red without green or white spots. They should feel firm but not hard. A ripe strawberry will have a strong sweet fragrance. Strawberries do not ripen after being picked, so choose the reddest, most fragrant berries available. If you'd like to learn more about fruits that ripen before and after picking, we have a video for that. Store strawberries in the refrigerator and eat them within a few days for the best flavor. Mangoes. Ripe mangoes can be red, yellow, or orange, depending on the variety. A ripe mango would give slightly to gentle pressure and feel slightly soft at the stem end. Ripe mangoes have a sweet, fruity smell at the stem end. To speed up ripening, place mangoes in a paper bag at room temperature. Once ripe, store mangoes in the refrigerator to keep them fresh for longer. Peaches. Ripe peaches have a deep yellow or orange color with a red blush. They should feel slightly soft and yield to gentle pressure. And as for the smell, a ripe peach has a strong sweet fragrance. Peaches are firm, leave them at room temperature to ripen. Once ripe, store peaches in the refrigerator to prevent them from becoming overripe. And finally, pineapples. A ripe pineapple has a golden yellow color at the base. It should feel firm but yield slightly to gentle pressure. There should be a sweet fragrant smell at the base that indicates ripeness. Pineapples do not ripen much after being picked, so select the ripest one available. Store pineapples at room temperature if you plan to eat them soon or in the refrigerator to extend their freshness. Knowing when your favorite fruits are perfectly ripe can be a delicate dance, but it's easy when you know what to look for. By paying attention to the color, firmness, and aroma, you can enjoy fruits at their best flavor and texture. And that's all for today's video. If you'd like to learn more about all things sustainability, then you can listen to Let's Talk Farm to Fork right here on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Head to our website for free courses and to read our blog. And while you're here, subscribe to our channel for regular content. Together, we can help the world go a little bit greener.